sibling abuse should be taken more seriously. At least in my experience, sibling abuse isn't taken very seriously. When I told my ex therapist that my twin sister emotionally abused me my whole life, she minimized the problem. To clarify, I'm an adult, and she only changed her mind when I got into details. Being dismissed by a mental health professional was infuriating, to say the least. Sibling abuse is more common than people think. It's not less traumatic just because there isn't a power imbalance. It's crazy this even has to be said. And no, getting abused isn't an excuse to become an abuser yourself. We were both abused as kids. But she made a choice to take that hurt and use it against me. I don't have to sympathize with my abuser. Who made me suffer more than I already did? I'm a therapist. And I have to agree. There is a heavy focus on parental relationships in family dynamics. And sibling issues can be overlooked. Not always. And usually a good therapist will reassess their approach. But it is something I've noticed as well. It's why details are so important though. And it may be why yours didn't take it seriously until they had more to work with. I think this is a very common reason for estrangement among siblings as adults also. A lot of abuse is normalized. I remember a clip of a cop show that showed that a kid called the cops on his mom because she was hitting him with a belt over lying. Then the kid told the cop and the cop kind of threatened the kid because you don't do that to your mom. As a younger brother, I often ask why was I hitting myself? People should look at the statistics of SA committed by siblings. My brother, who is 11 years older than me, bullied me almost my whole life. My mom did nothing and said that's just how brothers are. When I tried to defend myself I would get in trouble. Only people who would defend me were complete strangers. I was being too loud and my brother came into my room and tried to punch me in the head. When he couldn't he spat on me. He is a cop s see how that goes. For real. Honestly. In my entire life I've never received more trauma and abuse in total than I've received from my own. Sister. I'm sick of the she's family or she has her own problems she struggles with yet as soon as I'm. Like then I'm done with her I'm the bad guy ruining her life because I've had enough and set the boundary. At the end of the day it could be my fault because I've let it slide my entire life up to this point. But when I really think about it it's honestly just been an entire life of smiling through abuse. With no recompense. Agree 1000 my sister was abusive to me and four other siblings. Now that we're adults she places all the blame on our parents. Gaslights us about the abuse as though we weren't all there. She feeds her therapist lies so that she can feel vindicated or something. I DC cause I don't need her in my life anyway. To clarify. I'm an adult. And she only changed her mind when I got into details. That is an important distinction thought. Absolutely. My brother would put a pillow over my face and sit on it. Hit in the head with baseball bat. Punch me in the stomach because he wanted to hear me cry. Chase me with a knife. Etc. Everyone was just like well boys will be boys. Dude, absolutely. My brother used to beat my ass up until he moved out when he was 23 and I was 21. I asked my mom how she would feel if my 22 years old boyfriend hit me like he did and she said it's different he's your brother. Human kids fight with each other physically because we're animals just like any other animal. It's our instinct. 
You can let kids play fight but when it becomes abusive and traumatizing. Then that's a problem. I agree 1000. I watched a crime series last night and one young woman was killed by her brother. She had mental health issues since childhood stemming from abuse from her brother. She was treated like a problem child and her many cries for help were dismissed because it was her brother she claimed was abusing her. Fucking sad that it took him killing her for anyone to take it seriously. My older sister is the reason I still flinch when anything near me moves too quickly. No matter what it is. There is a power imbalance. They're manipulating the victim's feelings to get what they want. That gains them the proverbial upper hand. So many therapists seriously lack common sense. Well, I guess mistaking societal bias for truth is what's common IDK. Also the excuse that there is not a power imbalance between siblings is often not true. I was the youngest of five and the closest sibling to my age was my brother five years older than me. If you don't see the power imbalance between a 10-year-old and a 15-year-old, you've got issues. I'm not a therapist, but I work in the mental health field as a case manager. The idea of minimizing abuse of any kind just makes for a piss-poor therapist counselor etc. It's upsetting how this is unpopular. I agree. My younger brother physically and psychologically bullied me and my parents just let him get away with it by not letting him go to therapy. My dad put him in a karate class for some reason which I predicted was a bad idea and my younger brother tried to use it to break my arm. I know someone who was tied up in a Wendy house by their older sibling as kids and left there. Everyone thought it was just play. But they'd be left until even after they couldn't hold in their pee. Siblings can do awful things and often it's a warning sign of other behavior which doesn't get checked out. Being abused is not excuse for being an abuser as you said. However being a literal child who wasn't taught better is an excuse. I'm sorry you went through what you did, and I don't expect you to forgive them but if your sibling as an adult is better now, then they've learned and that's all we can really ask. Only child here. Over the years I've had many friends tell me stories about the terrible things their siblings used to do to them as kids. And I am shocked by the actions that fall under sibling rivalry or kids will be kids. I've never thought of the term sibling abuse before. But I agree. It should definitely be addressed more. You are absolutely right. The few times I have brought up my siblings abuse. People tend to think of it as siblings rivalry. Until I spend 20 minutes giving them the high points. Only then do they begin to think maybe it was something more. It took me moving 1,000 miles away to get away from the physical aspect. The mental and emotional went on for another 10 years. Thank you for your post. If unrelated children behaved this way toward each other, there would be serious consequences. Related? No problem. Crying same with spanking, smacking, hitting etc. Unrelated adult to child. Serious consequences for the adult. Parent child. No problem. This is not okay. I despise my siblings and I have one that I hate. The hypocrisy from them is unbearable and the psychological damage they have done to me I'll never forget.